It's early morning and I'm having insomnia. It's like four in the morning, maybe five. Actually, I'm not gonna look at the clock, but. And um, now Korean food, I've tried. I've never had a Korean sit down meal before. I've had Korean, you know, I've tasted Korean. I don't even remember. I know I've tried kimchi before. Um, but I didn't realize how different Korean food is from Chinese food. I knew about kimchi, and that's not like any Chinese food I've ever tried. Although, I may not know all of the Chinese food that exists, but... But that's all. I don't recall ever having a sit-down Korean meal, except for last night. So... So I ordered the kimchi soup, which the lady warned me because it was very spicy. She warned me. She says, and we can't, you know, it's already made. We can't unspice it. You know, it's already super, super spicy. But I felt like risking it. And then I got some kind of, uh, you know, pan fried vegetables with, with um, chicken and stuff. And, uh, but it tasted not at all like Chinese food. It was, it was tasty. But, uh, yeah, completely different from Chinese food. I guess I was expecting Chinese food, but the name of the restaurant is Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ho, H-O. <laughs> and... But that soup was so spicy. The lady warned me. The other one, I could get it spicy or I could ask them to make it less spicy because they cook that on demand. But the soup was already made. And so I ended up eating. And what was really spicy was the liquid part of the soup. I mean, the stuff inside the soup was spicy too, but not as spicy as the actual liquid part of the soup. Uh, so I actually ordered too much food, and I ended up bringing home. I I ate it. I ate the soup. It was extremely spicy. My my nose was running. It was so spicy, and I had to use the napkin. It was. <laughs> I was going like this the whole time as I was eating it, but it was kind of tasty. But I would I would not order it again. If I went back to that restaurant, I would not order the soup again. A little too harsh for me. It's, I like spicy, but even for me, that was spicy, too spicy. But for someone who really likes spicy food, that's a good restaurant because almost all of the dishes were either spicy or I guess they call it half spicy where they tone it down a little for you. And then they make a few dishes for people who don't like it spicy. There were a couple on there, but mainly most of the dishes were very high. Spicy as far as hot spice where it burns your tongue. That soup burned the back of my throat even. And I started coughing as I was like the first few bites until I got, and then I kind of developed a tolerance for it as I, as I continued to eat. But the first few bites I was coughing, my nose started running. I was, <laughs> my eyes were tearing and I was trying to act like I was cool, you know? I didn't want to let on that it was getting to me. Me go to the balcony because at this hour of the morning you can start to hear the birds at a certain time. I'm not going to go on the balcony but I'll open the door. The birds haven't quite started. They start around you know just when the sun starts maybe peaking. But let's see if I open the door. It's kind of eerie. So I'm going to sit inside. But I'll leave the door open so we can hear the birds. It's, um, let me see the clock. If I do my... Hello, everybody. I had Korean food last night, which I'd never had before. I I tried a Korean 
I sampled Korean food before. I tried kimchi. That's the only thing I can remember that I've ever had before was kimchi. So I, I went to a Korean restaurant here in Buenos Aires called Mr. Ho. And it's Korean. And it sounded yummy. I just, in my mind, you know, in my in my ignorance of Asian food gen in general, I was thinking, oh, Korean food, just like Chinese food. I thought it would be like the same. Um, even though I know kimchi is not similar to any Chinese food I've ever tried. But I figured it would be just other than that, you know, just it would be like Chinese food, I guess I was expecting. And um, so I went and I ordered. Now, first of all, everything on the menu was spicy, like hot spicy. And you had to request that they tone it down if you wanted you wanted it toned down. They give you the option because they know that you know, not everybody wants that spicy food. So I don't know if Korean food is known for being spicy. Maybe some of you know that. Uh, but that particular restaurant, almost all the dishes were spicy. And then they had a few dishes that weren't spicy for people who, you know, obviously don't want spicy. But for the most part, the dishes were all spicy and you could request level of spiciness. So except for the soup, I could not request that soup is already made, the lady said. So it's it's super, super spicy. You know, you, she warned me. But I decided to risk it. I was curious. So I got the soup and I almost died. I started coughing. <laughs> First spoonful. <laughs> I ordered that and I ordered um, like this kind of pan fried uh vegetables and chicken, but it didn't taste like Chinese food. It had its own unique flavor. Not at all like Chinese food, actually. Uh, it was good. I think, I think comparatively, I would prefer Chinese food because maybe that's because, but I've, I'm used to it. Chinese food has been around in the United States even since I was a little girl. We had a chi one Chinese restaurant at in our town, but you know, it was good. And some would say, oh, well, they Americanized it, the food, it's not authentic, but even so, uh, but I could see how you could develop a taste for Korean food. I could see, you know, after going a few times, how I would develop a taste for it, but I liked it, I liked it. I, I, gave, the, I gave a good rating to the restaurant. It's, it's authentic is what is, is said in all the reviews. It's authentic Korean food. Uh, so, but it was a little, uh, the soup was really hard. First I started coughing, but I was embarrassed. So I tried not to cough. <laughs> but I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, um, and I, my nose started running, my eyes were tearing and I, and I that was after the first spoonful. Uh, and then, I guess I became acclimated to it as I continued to eat it. Because even though it was, you know, I was dying, I still wanted to eat it. And it was still good. It was, just, it was a soup based on kimchi. So it was like a kimchi soup. And, uh, and then the other dish was, I requested the other dish to be please made not spicy, you know, like half spiced. So they did that. So that was doable. Because I have, a, you know, I have a tolerance for spicy, hot food. Uh, but not a tolerance, like not a high tolerance for super spicy. Just, you know, but I can handle spice. Spicy. And my, one second, I have to get a drink of water. Well, I'll take it. So I'm not, if I ever have Korean again, I'm not going to order that spook, that spicy one. And then the other dish was pretty good. Uh, Mr. Ho. Mr. Ho.
or it's yeah, Mr. Ho. It's not Mr. Ho's. It's Mr. Ho. The name makes me laugh a little bit, but nice, you know, little hole in the wall, but clean, and the food is authentic, and it's a popular place. Uh, and then there's another restaurant I wanted to try, an Asian restaurant, Chinese, called... Oh, is that... Oh. That one's called Rong Cheng. Is in the, I have not been to that one, but I've been told that that's very authentic Chinese food and that it's delicious. And I don't think I'll have... I, I don't think I'll have room to go to that restaurant. I was thinking of going tonight, but I still have the Korean food left order left over because I ordered two entrees. I ordered the super hot soup, but I thought to myself, if it's too spicy, I'm not going to be able to finish it. So I ordered the kind of pan fried. Uh, and they brought that sizzle, sizzling pan to the table. It smelled really good. And it tasted good, but it smelled better than it tasted. I think it's not that it was bad food. I think it was authentic and well-prepared. I think I just don't have the taste for Korean food. I don't, I have to develop. I believe one develops a taste for, for Korean food from what my first experience with Korean food has been, other than the kimchi that I tried in the past, which I like a lot. But you now kimchi, I can only handle it in small doses. It it gets too, um, like if you eat more than a couple of bites of kimchi, it's like too much for you. It's over savory. You get you get like out savored, like overly savory, to the point where you can only take a little bit in at a time. So I did eat the soup. I left the liquid part and I ate the stuff that was in it, you know, the different vegetables. I think Swiss chard was one of the vegetables. They had mushrooms and I think carrots, just a bunch of veggies in there. They were still kind of crunchy, very yummy. Uh, and I left, and the, the, the food part of the soup was less spicy than the actual soup. So I ate m mainly the stuff that was floating and, or, you know, the stuff that was in the suit and I left the liquid. I had some of the liquid. But... And then, of course, I didn't have room for the other stuff. I just took a few bites because I ordered two entrees. And then I brought the second one home with me, so I'll have that for lunch today. Listen to the birds. It's 5 a.m. So the birds are starting out their day. It just stopped when I came out here. Oh, there we go. It's a mockingbird. I don't know who that is. Very mus musical and melodious. Sometimes I use big words. I don't know what they actually mean. It's it's kind of chilly. Um. Well, that's all. I really don't have a topic. I I know you guys like the soft spoken, so I thought now that I'm having a bit of insomnia, it would be a good time to do the soft spoken because when I'm a little bit out, out energized, you know, I have low energy, I, I speak soft, but oh, I think I'm dozing off. Let's go for 10 minutes. Okay, it's about to end. I'm almost at the 10 minute mark. I thought it might be a longer ramble, but I suddenly got sleepy. So I'm gonna go lay down. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll try to do a longer one at another time. Thanks for watching.